we had a good start and it's at that um, second quarter. Um, they outplayed us. We turned the ball over too many times. Uh, they were attacking. And I, I thought they got to give them credit. They outplayed us tonight. Um, we just got to we got to stick together. We got to keep playing for one another. And I still, like I said before the game, I believe in these guys. And uh, but you know tonight, it, that that second quarter, it's tough to it doesn't happen often. Uh, lose a quarter by 24 points, and we got to do better. Just have to do better. Scott, you, you mentioned yesterday you wanted to, you guys wanted to get away from switching a little bit. You said you were still going to be doing it some. Uh, you guys still did a decent amount tonight. Was that what you wanted? Were those emergency switches? There was just emergency at that point. You know, we were trying to generate some, you know, some tough shots for them, and so we can get out and make some uh, transition scores and make the game uh, more possessions. And I thought the. I thought we had a good start. I thought, I mean, obviously Dwight was a bright spot. Um, played extremely well for the first game. I mean, this is, it's, it's good to see. You know, we were hoping that he would come in and, and set the tone, and I thought he did. You know, I think we are up eight, eight points in that first quarter, maybe even 10, uh, with a lot of good basketball. And, and then that's with um, Grant and Ferguson knocking in a three. And then we gave up the lead like that. And then they jumped out at us in that end of that first and in that start of that second quarter, and we couldn't recover. Scott, there were times when they broke trip, they kept the starter on the floor. This time, you went nine minutes mostly with your starters. You yeah. did a way of substitutions. Um, do you think moving forward that this five man bench can get the floor together? Yeah, I mean. Starter? At, at that at that time in the game, I mean, they had uh, Brina, Schroeder, Patterson, Nuala, and Diallo. I mean, they had um, they didn't have a starter on the on the on the on the floor either. So, but moving forward, everything's open. Everything's open. We have to we have to figure out ways to play better. Uh, in all the 48 minutes that we're on the floor, whether it's going with a smaller rotation. Or it's uh, playing other guys. I have to figure it out. Uh, we can't just keep watching the same thing over and over and over and expect um, things are going to change. Uh, I like to give guys opportunities, and, and you know what? We have to play better. Our plus minuses, it's ridiculous. I mean, that's, this team is really good. I mean, our team is really good. They're playing good basketball right now, but they should not uh, have been able to do that in our home floor in a back to back game. Scott John has uh, 16 turnovers in the last two games. What do you see? Yeah, I mean, he's definitely turned it over high, a higher a number than he normally would. Uh, but I thought tonight's game, it was good to see him move uh, uh, much better. You know, and, you know, the turnovers are, you know, it's the turnovers that are he's looking for teammates, you got to live with that. It's the, he had one charge tonight, which it, it was probably a questionable call. It could have been an and one. But when he's looking for teammates, I, I live with those. Those are the te those are the. Uh, turnovers. He wants to find his teammates for a shot, and you know he's having a, a couple of game stretch. But you know he can have five games in a row where he has one or two. He's the clear tone setter though for this team, and it looks like from the outside his arc is not what it is. You see. No, I mean I disagree. I, I think last on the road we didn't have many sparks uh, in the last in the last game. Uh, I mean, in the game before the last, I thought last game we in Memphis we played pretty good. They made a bunch of shots in that third quarter. I thought he had the spark. You know, he's he's definitely um, had the spark tonight. We came in and, and we gave up a, a eight or ten point lead in that first quarter, and they, they didn't look back. They jumped on us. They outplay or outscored us by 24 in that second. Scott, you mentioned that you got to stick together. Do you worry that that's at risk that they might not stick together? No. I mean, I've been with the group for over two years. Uh, we're going to stick together. You know, we have a, a tough a tough patch. Uh, we start the season with some tough games. Start the season, but you know what? You're going to have every team in this league. You don't go through it and keep going straight up. You're going to have some stretches where maybe it's 30 through 35 that you lose three or four in a row. And unfortunately, we've lost some games that we we wish we couldn't have, uh, wish we didn't lose, and a couple of things here and there could have changed it. But I I have a lot of confidence in our guys staying together, and, and I also have a confidence in our guys. We're going to play well. 
we're going to start playing better together. Dwight was a, a, obviously a, a start to that. Uh, we got to come back to, uh, Sunday and, and play much better for 48. Scott, you guys have, have talked about different moments, just effort and energy. Do you feel like that was another problem tonight? I felt that they were better than us tonight. That second, that end of the first and that second quarter. Go look it back. I mean, it's uh, minus five in the first. We're a plus four and a plus two in the fourth. It's uh, 24 point. You give a team 24 point uh, a plus on you in one quarter. It's hard to overcome, especially a good team like they have. They have two MVP type players. Scott, you talked about guys want to shoot more threes. What did you see in tonight? Well, our starters came in. I thought our starters set the tone and, and, and made some threes. That's one thing that we wanted to do. Brad, Brad is a big time shooter. Otto's a big time shooter. It's unfortunately, Otto could not finish the game tonight. I think he hurt his toe. Uh, but the, our bench didn't shoot the ball well. Speaking of that, um, Austin scoreless tonight. How do you explain his slow start to the season? Um, it's it's definitely. Um, I'm confident he's going to play much better. Uh, he hasn't. He hasn't got a good rhythm. But our second unit hasn't played. Hasn't had a good rhythm either. We have to figure out maybe how I can tweak it. Maybe throw some starters in there with him, and play a uh, uh, play us uh, uh, a smaller rotation. But I have to figure out something. And uh, it's we still got a lot of time. But we want to. We want to play much better. It's, I'm disappointed that we didn't. We didn't come out and play a good 48 minutes. I. I thought we were. Definitely in the place to do that, the right space to do that. Uh, but you know, we're still have some work to do. Hopefully, we can fix fix some things tomorrow and come back Sunday and play better. You mentioned a start uh, rotation, possibly shortening a rotation. Anything possibly with the start line itself? Um, it's, it's five minutes from our from the final buzzer. I don't know. I wouldn't tell you either. Thanks, coach. All right. See you guys.